Devarim, Deuteronomy chapter 19. When Yahweh thy God shall cut off the nations, whose land Yahweh thy God giveth thee, and thou succeedest them, and dwellest in their cities and in their houses, thou shalt set apart three cities for thee in the midst of thy land, which Yahweh thy God giveth thee to possess it. Thou shalt prepare thee the way, and divide the borders of thy land, which Yahweh thy God causeth thee to inherit, into three parts, that every manslayer may flee thither. And this is the case of the manslayer, that shall flee thither and live, whoso killeth his neighbor unawares, and hated him not in time past. As when a man goeth into the forest with his neighbour to hew wood, and his hand fetcheth a stroke with the axe to cut down the tree, and the head slippeth from the helve, and lighteth upon his neighbour, so that he dieth, he shall flee to one of these cities and live. Lest the avenger of blood pursue the manslayer while his heart is hot, and overtake him, because the way is long, and smite him a soul, whereas he was not worthy of death, inasmuch as he hated him not in time past. For what reason I command thee, saying, Thou shalt set apart three cities for thee. And if Yahweh thy God enlarge thy border, as he hath sworn to thy fathers, and give thee all the land which he promised to give to thy fathers, if thou shalt keep all this command to do it, which I command thee this day, to love Yahweh thy God, and to walk ever in his ways, then shalt thou add three cities more for thee, besides these three. That innocent blood be not shed in the midst of thy land, which Yahweh thy God giveth thee for an inheritance, and so blood be upon thee. But if any man hate his neighbor, and lie in wait for him, and rise up against him, and he smite him a soul, and he die, and he fleeth into one of these cities, Then the olders of his city shall send and fetch him thence, and deliver him into the hand of the avenger of blood, that he may die. Thy eye shall not pity him, but thou shalt put away the innocent blood from Yisrael, that it may go well with thee. Thou shalt not remove thy neighbor's landmark, which they of old time have set in thy inheritance, which thou shalt inherit in the land that Yahweh thy God giveth thee to possess it. One witness shall not rise up against a man for any iniquity or for any sin, in any sin that he sinneth, at the mouth of two witnesses or at the mouth of three witnesses, shall a matter be established. If an unrighteous witness rise up against any man to testify against him of wrongdoing, then both the men, between whom the controversy is, shall stand before Yahweh, before the priests and the judges that shall be in those days. And the judges shall make diligent inquisition, And behold, if the witness be a false witness, and have testified falsely against his brother, then shall ye do to him as he had thought to do to his brother. So shalt thou put away the evil from the midst of thee, and those that remain shall hear and fear and shall henceforth commit no more any such evil in the midst of thee. And thy eyes shall not pity, 
soul for soul, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot.